Okie dokie. Okay. Angle. There we go. All right. We got the rackets. All right. Let's start with the uh, uh, right foot, left foot combination. Uh, lunging forward, very low pace and not really, by no means need to go like this to a full lunge. Just a little leaning forward and, and playing lobs. And let's focus on rhythm and technique more than the physical part. The rhythm means that you're nicely on the toes between the shots and technique means that you really focus on opening that racket face and lifting the ball up on the front wall. Okay. See if I can use this climber for the time being. So alternation with the legs, slide lunge forward, lobs, and go. So it's like a little dance, really. Light footwork, step in, light footwork, step in. Nothing really heavy and demanding at this point. Toes, toes, lunge. Toes, toes, lunge. Little shuffle in the middle. And try to feel that contact with the ball. So after the contact, you have a little flick in the wrist. Well, actually, it's just before or during the contact. And then a little follow through upwards, just to make sure that the ball gets that height. Step in, foot work. Step in, foot work. Good. And then we move to, we keep the same footwork. Now we start swinging and not really hard swing, but full swing. So I actually advise you to swing with a full swing uh, motion, but the speed would be like 70% or even lower than that. Just not to, you know, get your shoulders or your upper body, any kind of cranky feelings uh, because we're just starting. So you step in, swing, come back. And when you step in the other side, swing the other way. So, Front leg, forehand, front leg, backhand. And I always feel like this is really valuable uh, ghosting for your timing. Really try to make the racket move without forcing it one bit with your arm. So you're super relaxed with your arm. And more than anything, you're focusing on your core activity and try to get the swing starting from your core instead of from your shoulder or arm. And also timing wise, really important in squash is that you're, you get that forward movement kind of like helping the swing. So it's kind of like a start of the swing if you like. Stepping in swing, stepping in swing. <laughs> And always for timing, also good. It's a fairly early preparation with the swing, back swing prep. Before you start stepping into the ball, your upper body should be ready to go. Even more important when you volley, because with volleys you have much less time. So let's move into that volley uh, movement. So same, same forward motion. I'm, I'm turning my angle now towards you. So you step in. And it's pretty much that shoulder high volley. And also here, try to get that coiling up from your upper body. So your arm is just extension of the rotation. So your arm is really, shoulder and arm is really loose in the muscle tension. Okay. Stepping in and stepping in. And might be a good idea also to think about where you're going to hit the ball. Like, is that shot really going upwards on the front wall or is it going down? You sort of feel the different follow-throughs, like where do you think the ball is going? 
if you keep it nice and horizontal, like really straight and the racket face is staying under the ball long enough, then the ball pretty much hits the front wall just above the uh, service line and will end up bouncing deeper in the back corners. <sighs> but then you can also go a little bit downwards, cutting the ball down so you get a bit more like an offensive shot, a little bit different dynamics, but also here it's good to work on staying nice and balanced throughout that swing. Let's try a couple of really high volleys as well. So as we know, whatever shot you play, the butt of the racket pretty much leads the way to the ball. So if I go down to the ball like this, the butt leads, the volley, the shoulder high volley, very horizontal movement. You see the butt is leading before the acceleration of the racket head. So now when you go higher up, same principle is for this one as well. The butt leads, you accelerate, so you don't have a, you don't have a break in the wrist, it stays fixed, contact with the ball. And then it depends on where you play the ball. If you play it up on the front wall, you keep following the ball high up here. If you want to play it down, you kind of like bring it down with the with your arm and with the flick. But it's a difficult shot to control. On. Same with the forehand. So let's go a couple of those high ones. So you play a high overhead volley and try to stay balanced here as well. And also with this one, keep your core muscles, your mid section nice and tight. So it, it improves your balance, control of your body. And then your arm is a little bit more relaxed. Let's see if that works. So tight core, both feet on the floor. Ah. And then that overhead volley. Ah. Eight more shots. Ah, it's good shoulder warm up this one when not doing it too fast. Good. Okay. Let's do all in one go now. So we're going to start two shots at the front, moving forward with the lob. So you're lifting the ball up there. One, oh, sorry, uh, which one is, yeah, uh, <laughs> left leg, yeah. Left. One. And two, and then you're gonna go one and two, then the volley on the shoulder height, height one, two, and then the overhead one and two. So four different heights. So the low one, let's say on under the knee, the knee height, the shoulder height, and over over overhead. Actually, let's make it more easy. Uh, knee height, that's the lob. Hip high, that's the, the basic rail. Shoulder high is the volley, and overhead is the highest volley. So two shots each high. And go. One and two. One and two. Working on the rhythm here as well. Going from side to side. Upper body works hard. It's almost like that invisible core work. That is often needed to control your balance movement. <sighs> Played my first full court game just 10, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I must say that it's a long way back with <laughs> front court movement. It's not really there yet. <sighs> But it was fun. I think the most, the biggest achievement is that you don't get injured. Okay, lobbing twice, rail twice, shoulder high volley twice, overhead volley twice, down to lob. Okay, good. 
All right, a bit of a warm up like that. Let's stretch, put the racket down if you like. Let's uh, do a little for, forward bend first and focus on breathing and getting the stretch into the lower back. So extended legs, upper body leans forward. Take a deep breath here. Try to relax your shoulders, your arms, your head. And if you want to add more stretch, you can always wrap your hands around your legs. Gently pull yourself towards your legs. And then start walking your hands into a plank. And then bring your hips down on the floor into a cobra. And try to look up at the ceiling. Shoulders stay low. Tough one, but try to breathe. <laughs> and then back to plank again. Stay in a plank for a little bit. And then going into a down dog, so hips up, shoulders and head down. Try to get the stretch into your calves, Achilles, your shoulders. Back to Cobra one more time. Gaze up, hips on the floor, shoulders down. Really when you fill your, fill your lungs with air, you feel your abs stretching, so. One more down dog. And then take a long stride with your right foot next to your right hand to get into this extreme long lunge position. Try to extend your back leg, meaning lifting your knee up. And let's just stay here for a little bit to get that stretch into your glute. And when we start to open up the upper body, lifting the right arm towards the ceiling, it easily makes you lean on the side of your foot and open up your knee. So try to bring that knee back in when you open up your body or when you rotate your body. So you push your, your foot more and more into the floor. So it's a good, good thing to control because it makes the stretch a little bit more, more intense. And slowly return back to the middle. Bring your right foot next to the left. And then via the plank again, big jump with the left foot next to your left hand. Stay here for a little bit, just to get that glute going. And when ready, Start opening your upper body. Try to follow your left thumb with your eyes.
and slowly return. And let's go back to plank. And then let's walk our, uh, not our hands this time, but our feet. So go into a deep squat. And try to bring your heels on the floor if possible. Good way to open up the knees. Or get a little bit more space in the kneecaps. At least works for me really well. <laughs> Often in the morning, I just stay like this for the first couple of moments to, to get some mobility back. And here you can also rotate your hips a little bit so you can bring one knee forward and touch the floor with the knee to rotate the hip from side to side. Okay, and back to standing. Grab your right ankle behind your back with one or two arms and keep it close to your bum. If you find on the balance, then bring your knees close to one another and try to push your hips gently forward as you lift your foot at the back slightly upwards. And slowly take it off, let it go. Hip flexors are always tricky, especially when playing squats, they often get really tight. So it's good to do this. Hip flexor stretches. So the other side. Always good balance exercises, this. And it works also if you really try to bring your elbows closer to one another. You really get a little shoulder stretch here as well. And let it go, shake it off. Let's go for the outer hip one more time with a different, this one we haven't done for a while, so. Just to refresh our memories, right foot over your left knee, lower your position, find the balance, and lower it until you feel a good stretch in the outer hip area. Also area that gets nice and tight when playing squash. Okay, switch that one. A little bit extra weight on the bended knees, like, oh, oh man. Oh, okay, okay. Woo, I hear you. All right, let's grab the racket. Get some shoulder twists and turns and stretches done, and then we can start sweating a little bit more. Arms overhead, side to side. When Going to the side, exhale, pull the racket with the lower arm gently. And then big rotational movements. As big circles as you can make. Oh. 
and switch the direction. Side to side. I think we might be good to go here. Little wrist rotations just to finish the job. Everything works. Neck is loose. All right. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of a cardio uh, boost. So very long ghosting sessions, as we did some time ago. And we're gonna start, it's all a two minute sessions. The first one is left and right volley. Uh, this really depends on how much space you have. Ideally, you would do it with the shuffle that you do on a squat score normally. So there is shuffling, turning in, stepping in, shuffle, turning in, stepping in. But if you don't have that length, then you have to modify it a little bit. Uh, it, like I said, cardio. Well, let's look into getting the heart rate somewhere around 110 should work fine. And really focus on nice, light switch with the footwork. So you're really nice, nicely on your toes and focus on your technique. Okay, we're gonna go two minutes and go. <laughs> Really try to get that rhythm in there with the shuffle. I think the shuffle is here really the key. It's that kind of like determines your movement and gives you nice timing and balance. Remember to shift weight with the swing so you get good balance, good follow through with that. Don't forget the technical part of this. Got 20 seconds to go. All right, we move straight to the front corners. So if you're the front wall there, so I'm on a T point, lob and lob. Ready and go. Two minutes, lob. And this time we try to go a little bit deeper with that step, okay? So we try to get into a very natural deep position in the front corners picking up a drop shot picking up a lob uh, sorry picking up a, the boast playing a lob that sounds more logical <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
We got twenty seconds to go. Make sure you go low enough with that step. So you really get under the ball. Work on the balance when you swing. If you're not still, you're not gonna get a good shot. Gloves, you need to be confident in that low, often defensive position to play the ball up. Time. Okay. So next one, we're gonna do back corners. Again, depending on what your space is. Ideally, you're gonna look into getting those sideways shuffles, stepping into the shot, moving back to the tee, and then the other way. So you can move on a straight line and then just turn into the back corner, good lunge, low position, full swing, and then forward back. Okay, let's go. Two minutes. Back corners. So again, heart rate should be around 110, 100, 120. Not much higher than that. So nice cardio. You, you can go on, on and out with this, right? That's the idea. You find a good rhythm. You can play this rally for 10 minutes without breaking a sweat. Also good to get that relaxed movement, help you to swing relax. That's something that I have a lot of trouble when I play. And I often feel like if I'm feeding the shots, I'm more relaxed and I hit more accurately, but not with less power. And then when I play real, they tend to be more cramped and more tense which makes me lose a lot of energy, but also lose rhythm and timing. So good to practice to be relaxed, not hold the racket too tight, but relaxed doesn't mean sluggy or so slow, actually means the opposite. You're relaxed, you're on your toes, really sharp movements, you're ready to move very quickly to any ball that has been played. So your mental state is very strong, very sharp. So sharp in the head, relaxed in the body. That will get you going. Dancing on the on the court. Nice light footwork, little shuffles, weight shifting, not being hasty when you hit the ball. Okay, last five seconds. Yeah, time. So I'm taking my heart rate is about 115. So I hope you were kind of in that, in that range as well. Okay, next one is gonna be four corners. And this one you can do different ways. Obviously most of us have less space at the moment. So you can do just one or two steps each direction. So it's, it's a mini cord, if you will. So kind of like if I show you, I'm in a service box here, it's, it's almost this small. So there's one corner there, there's one corner there, one there, and one there. So you don't really need huge space here. We're gonna add up a little bit speed as we move with shorter distances. So slightly faster pace. Remember the front corners, we use the front leg, then coming back after the swing, you use open stance at the back. And that means that you rotate your upper body well to get a really good shot out of all these four corners. Okay, two minutes and go. 
So all the time, four corners, one front, switch and back, switch front and switch back. <clears throat> Again, focus on your technique. You could close your eyes if your furniture is not too close and then just feel the technique that you're using to play these shots. Try to get everything straight. So it makes you turn your upper body a little bit more towards the sidewall and that gives you more options technically and with that tactically as well. Time. I think I went a little over from there. Uh, let's see. Now we have. I need to. My battery just died. Okay. I, well, we, we. I managed this last one. Then I have to switch my watch. Okay. Last one is two, last two minutes. This one is going to be the four corners again. And we're going to do eight toe jumps after every round. So when you come back from the fourth corner, drop your racket horizontally. One two, and after eight jumps, round two, okay? So that's pretty more intense. Ready, and go. Front, back, front, back, and jumps. <sighs> Getting heavy now with the jumps. Ten seconds. Let's finish this round, guys. Okay. Let's have a two minute break and then we. So have some more fun. Oh. Hydrate well. Yes. 
sit down if you will. I was getting tired of this hard floor. So I thought, hey, we have these yoga mats. Why don't, why don't I use them? All right. Okay. Next one, we're going to do some core uh, boost here. Let's see which one should I use? This one. And this one, at least the numbers on this screen are big enough so I should be able to see it. Okay, we're going to start with some abs and uh, the movement is going to be today, the first movement with abs. It's going to be the one when you, you have your legs in a, let's say 90 degree angle and then on a higher pace, you come up with your upper body. So you get your chest close to your knees and your hands close to your feet. Okay, we're going to go one minute. Is everybody ready? And go. Da, 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 da. One and two. One and two. Try to get to touch your ankles <laughs> or even your shoes if you can. We got 20 seconds to go. <sighs> Time. Turn around. On your knees. We're gonna do knee push-ups. Slow pace. Okay. Wide, sorry, not wide. Narrow stance. And one, two, three, four is down. One is up. So down goes two, three, four. Up, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, Three, four, up, one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, up, last, one, one, two, three, four, Woo. okay, plank position, guys, straight arms first. Ready, go. Spread your fingers, lock your elbows, squeeze your bum, and think of happy thoughts. And let's go down to elbow plank for another minute. And go.
15 seconds to go. Come on, guys. We got this. Time. Okay, turn on your back. Bicycle abs. So we're gonna do it with the rotation. So upper body, we're getting the elbow to touch the knee. One minute, go. Try to extend the leg after the bend. Rotate your upper body well, getting the shoulder blade off the floor. Ten seconds. And time. Oh. Hip raises. Bring your heels close to your bum. And lift, hold, release, lift, hold. Release. You can even go on your toes if you like. Lift, hold, release. Lift, hold, release. Release. <sighs> Try to push as high as you can with your hips. Squeeze your bum. Use your lower back muscles to bring your arch as high as you can. Lift, hold, release. Lift, hold, release. <sighs> 15 seconds. <sighs> uh, lift, hold, release. Last one is a long one. Hold it, hold it, hold, 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 and release. Oof. Ooh. And lean forward, grab your, your ankles or your feet. And let's stretch that lower back a little bit after all that work. Good. Okay, turn around. Go into plank position again. We're gonna do reptiles, straight ones this time, meaning that right knee hits the right elbow and the other way around. Gonna go for one minute and Halfway. I get the knee to touch the elbow. Ten seconds. Uh, Time. Oh. Woo. Abs. Oh man. Okay. Grab a quick drink, guys. We have some jumping to do. Okay. 
Oof. Okay, we're gonna do plank burpees to start with. You know what that is, right? Plank burpee, meaning toe jump. And then when coming down, throwing your legs back into plank and then jump again. Whew. Okay, ready? And let's go. Jump up, throw the legs. Jump up, throw the legs. Ten seconds. Time. Ah. Lateral jump. Ah. Side to side. Ah. Ready? Go. That's the toe. Five seconds, guys. Come on. Ah. Oof, time. Oof. Backward lunge, arms overhead, jump with the front leg, and switch the leg when I tell you. Ready? Go. Ah. Try to bring that back knee close to the floor. Oof. Switch the leg. Make sure you're airborne with the front leg jump. Oof, I lose balance if I talk. It's that bad. Oof. Oof. Time. Oof. Uh, squad jumps. Love them. Okay. Ready for some squad jumps? Go. Make sure you come off the floor. Oof. Oof. 
Oof. Five seconds. Ah. Oof. Oh. Oof. Oh. Forward lunge, alternation, touch the floor in front of your foot with every lunge. Go. Lunge, then switch. Touch the floor. The next one is a half burby or squat plank, whatever you want to call it. You're in the squat. This way is better. So you squat, three legs, squat, legs, squat. Okay, go. Let's go. Ten seconds. Okay, alternate lunge in place. This one. Ready? Go. Balance, control, vertical movement. Oof. Tight core, legs work. On the double here. Oof. Fifteen seconds. Time. Last one, toe jumps. Okay, big jumps, guys. Let's go. And minutes go now. Come on, everybody jumps. Arms up in the air, touch the toes. Keep your bum low, bend your legs, your knees. Knock your back. Come on. Twenty seconds. Oh. 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 Oh.
Five seconds. My legs. Oh, great job, guys. Woo.